Yeah, I'll react to that, sure. Totally I can, yeah. Sure. Ooh, treading water. I remember doing that in order to go to the deep end. In, uh... At the pool. I'm sure it's just as difficult. Alright, um... How to pass the RAF fitness test. I'm not even going to make a joke. Let's go. My name is Connor. Hello. I'm from Rhode Island. Best state in the union. New England. USA in that order. And I like to learn things and watch stuff alongside you beautiful people. So yeah, if you're new. Just. Just. Let's go. The RAF fitness test is used to assess the physical fitness of RAF personnel. The test consists of an aerobic element in the form of the multi-stage fitness test Hold and on. a muscle. No. I gotta do, uh, uh, all I wanted to do was help put the quality to the highest and, okay. The RAF fitness test is used to assess the physical fitness of RAF personnel. The test consists of an aerobic element in the form of the multi-stage fitness test and a muscular endurance element in the form of press-ups and sit-ups. The standard for each element of the test is not specific to trade. Hey, push-ups, I can do push-ups. It's the running and sit-ups that uh, I, would, I would struggle more. Accordingly to age and to gender. The element of the test is not specific to trade, but set accordingly to age and to gender. The first part of the assessment is the multi-stage fitness test, also known as the bleep test, which requires participants to run between two lines placed 20 meters apart. Yeah, I'll react to that, do sure. So in response to a series of... Hey guys, sorry um, guys, that's me uh, uh, publishing my other video, sorry. ...placed 20 meters apart. Participants will do so in response to a series of pre-recorded timings. Participants must run, touch the line, and turn. Starting at a brisk walk, the Suicides. speed will gradually increase in time with the bleeps. The end of each level is indicated by a triple bleep. Okay, the person suicide conducting runs the are test awful. will warn participants if they are not keeping up with a required pace. Participants will be allowed two further shuttles to regain the required pace. If they fail to do so, they will be told to stop. This is a best effort. Like you're out, you're done. Test. So they will be told to stop. This is a best effort test. Like you're going Press home? Press-ups and sit-ups are performed for a duration of one minute. Participants should complete as many as possible in that time. Start-finish position. The participant is to lie flat on their stomach, with their legs straight and their feet no more than 30 centimeters apart. Hands are to be positioned in a comfortable position, slightly wider than the shoulder width apart, in line with the shoulders. The participant is to rise up on extended arms, keeping the head in a neutral position, ensuring the back is kept straight and the elbows are locked at the highest point. This is the start-finish position. Action. The body is lowered by bending the elbows until the upper arms are parallel to the floor, making contact with the instructor's fist. Wow. This is the down position. The body is to be kept straight throughout the exercise. Wow, that's a good push-up. Participants may rest at the start-finish position. If the participant's knees touch the floor at any time during the test, the participant will be told to stop. Set-up position, Get out of start here. position. The participant lies on the mat with... See, the push-ups would be my least afraid of challenge. I, I, I feel like, but when it comes to sit-ups and running I, i'd be their knees bent approximately 90 degrees and feet approximately 30 centimeters apart feet and shoulder blades should be flat on the mat hands are placed on the temples of the head not behind and must be maintained in the position during the test finish position elbows touching the top of knees action the sit-up is initiated by curling the trunk up so that the elbows touch the top of the knees Followed by a return to the starting position. Participants are not to bounce off the mat at any time. Resting positions. Participants are to rest, if required, in the start position. Seven, eight. You can now see the RAF fitness test standards for your age and gender. More okay, so I'm in here. I only have to do 20 push-ups?
It's interesting how the the female push up standard is halved, but the sit up stand standard is only a few less. I guess for obvious, I guess men have an advantage when it comes to arms, and a little less so when it comes to core. So I guess that makes sense. Information can be found on the RAF recruitment website. That's it. Cool. Hey, respect anyone in the uh, Air Force of any country for sure. Especially the U.S. and uh, buddy U.K. Um, Canada, you're good too. Awesome. Uh, cool video. See you guys next time. Come watch stuff and things. Yeah, see ya.